Welcome to a new year and a new edition of Weird Science Wednesdays. Right now, up in the learning lab, the fifth graders are learning about Sir Isaac Newton and his laws of motion. Sir Isaac Newton was a mathematician and scientist who is considered the grandfather of physics. He figured out how rainbows are created and even discovered gravity. He also developed three laws of motion that are the foundation for all cars, planes, boats, and spaceships. Newton's laws of motion back in the 1600s were groundbreaking, revolutionary science. Today, we kind of take it for granted because we know so much more because of people like him. The first law of motion ultimately states, hey, something's going to stay where it is unless you move it. An object at rest will stay at rest unless a force acts upon it. So think about it when you play soccer. When the ball's on the ground, it's not going anywhere unless you kick it, right? The third law of motion is probably the most popular. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Ultimately, what goes up must come down. Think about this when you're on a skateboard and you throw a ball. You're actually going in the opposite direction than where you're throwing the ball. Today's experiment will be a balloon rocket race. For today's experiment, we will need two balloons, string, scissors, tape, and a plastic straw. The first step is to make two equal lanes using the string. We are using the table, but a measuring tape would be most accurate. The next step is to blow up the balloon and tape the straw to it. Thread the string through the straw, but don't let go of the balloon. Remember not to tie off the balloon. Just hold it closed. Line up your lanes, and when you're ready, let go. The balloons will race down the line using Newton's first and third laws of motion. Try different heights to see how gravity also affects speed. What would happen if you used a bigger balloon? Maybe a narrower one, shaped like a banana. We'll stay at rest, unless something moves it. What goes up must come down.